All right, welcome back to Sword and Board. We're playing Rogue Legacy. Here I am. I am in this level. Uh, I'm trying not to die to this ghost. And he hit me, and he didn't kill me. So thank God. Oh, I don't like these little platforms, man. They're stressful. It's like you gotta fucking... You gotta not do that. Ugh. Oh, come on! I pressed the down button, but it didn't work. <laughs> okay, that sucked. Whatever, I saw him. Welcome back to Sword and Board. We died. Yeah, great. I'm dead. A walking tank. A walking tank. A standard hero. Uh, daggers. She's pretty. Well, she's bald. <laughs> you can't tell, but she's bald. <laughs> Dementia. You are insane. Uh, I think that means that you can't remember um, uh, rooms. So, like, if you press back, you can pull up a map of all the rooms you've been in. But if you have dementia, that map is blank except for the room you're in. That's hilarious. Um, pros prognosia. You can't tell people apart. I think um, sometimes certain rooms like have a like an enemy or a chest in them, and it comes up as an icon on the map. But those icons aren't there anymore, so you have no idea where those people are. But I can be bald and shoot a dagger. I mean, I'm good with that. You're what do you think? You want beautiful. me to be insane? No, no, dude. You want me to have... You, wanna, you gotta be bald. Okay, I'm gonna be bald. Lady Yvette? Lady Yvette, yes. Okay, 330 gold. I think I can get something. Let me talk to them. Can I get, like, a 175 for a sprint and a vault? That's pretty good. What is this balance? Ooh. Yeah, that's really good. Yep. We're using that. You, you know from playing this game for a few minutes how valuable health and mana regen is. Let alone being able to like kill enemies and get health and, and mana from kills. Like, holy shit. That's really important. These are really expensive. What the fuck? I don't want to give a hundred something gold to my fucking stupid Charon person. Damn it. I'm gonna have to give 155 gold to whatever the fuck person. Charon. God damn it. That's a lot of money. I don't want to give that up. Alright, here we go. Back to room one. So the game's kind of repetitive in a way. Ooh, wow. 100 gold in that one chair. Ah! Die! <laughs> well, I guess picking the dagger throwing was really smart. It worked out, yeah. Let's have a lot of money already. Oh, see that little gap in the floor right there? Right there? If I was a dwarf, I could go through there. Oh, that's it. Oh, I see. Interesting. Yeah, so dwarfism isn't all bad. In fact, it's useful sometimes. I mean, Tyrion taught us that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's an eyeball up here. That's what I meant. Come on, hit him, for fuck's sake. God, if I had taken damage from a stationary goddamn enemy, I would not have been happy. Okay, so I can do this. Pray for assistance, and I get a little rune. Helios' Blessing. Sometimes those items are cursed, um, so they're not always good, Ah, but I don't know what it does. Uh, what does it do? Um, vampire Siphon. Yep, I already have that. I'm bald. Um, yeah, it doesn't exactly tell you what it does. I wish it did, hmm. but I, I, I don't know. I'm sure there's a way to find out. Yeah, there's there was one called the Hedgehog's Curse. Um, and it made it so that you dropped money when you die, or when you get hit. Kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Which was, you know, that was funny. That's a good joke, I guess. Oh yeah, what about Sonic the Hedgehog and how they're remaking it? Isn't that oh, hilarious? My God, dude. Yeah. Like, it's, I said on an earlier episode that it was like basically a body horror film wrapped up in a kid's movie. And I, <laughs> you know, I stand by that, but I don't think the design was as bad as most people thought. It just wasn't good. Okay. I would agree with that. It could definitely be, like, a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> but it could definitely be a lot better. <laughs> did, you see ah, all the, did you see all the things where people have, like, remade it? And yeah. Those are I mean, pretty good ones. Good, but, you know, that, that, okay, so that that's kind of touching on a subject that, that's kind of near and dear to my heart. Okay. And that is, um, and, and it's really bad with, like, the Star Wars fandom for some reason. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. But it's okay, I'm fucking loaded, dude. Look how much money I have. 
Oh, there you go. Um, but yes, the Star Wars fandom does this a lot, where they, they get really, really emotionally attached to their own fucking headcanon, and not actually what's being presented on the screen. And then they'll get mad when their headcanon doesn't happen in, the, in real life. Oh, you got a Night Helm. Yeah, well, no, I got the blueprint for it. Oh, okay. I know, right? That's how they get you. Um, so that's the door to the first boss. I'm not going to go in there yet. I mean, I could, but I have 20 minutes health, so I'm probably going to die. But I know where it is. For fuck's sake. Oh, I'm so lucky that that fucking chair had a, had a chicken leg in it. <laughs> I would have died from that attack if I hadn't gotten that chicken leg. Okay, good. there's another teleporter here. So you can go between all the teleporter areas. Oh, I see. Yeah. And that's really useful when you get to, like, really far in the dungeon, and you're like, oh, I need to go back, or, you know, I don't need to be here right now, I'm gonna go farm this other area. But the, the Star Wars people, I feel like, do this the most, but I feel like a lot of fandoms do this, where they'll be like, oh, well, you know, I thought it would be a good idea for, like, if Darth Vader, you know, was like, whatever, he was like, a good guy, or whatever, and I know he turns out to be a good guy. But you know what I mean? Like they'll they'll, they'll get an idea in their head, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, um, Princess Leia is like a Jedi, or whatever." I'm trying to come up with an example that will make well, sense. But I know, know exactly what you're talking. They did it with the most recent episode of Game of Thrones. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. Like there's exactly, so much controversy. Exactly. Over. People are mad because they expected more from the Night King, but it's like you know that's not what happened in the show. So why are you mad about it? Like, you're mad about something that you made up, and it didn't happen because the producers made up something different. It's like, what a waste of fucking energy. Well, you know, I gotta say, like, especially with the Night King, I would have liked to know some kind of backstory on how he became who he was and whatnot, but, like, it's not yeah. my place to, like... Like, I would be I would be fine with it if, them, if they presented something like that, but if they don't, that's fine, too, because who gives a shit? It's not my story. Like, it's, it's not up to me to, to be creative and to, to create the world of the game or whatever. You know, it's it's up to me to be the consumer of the media and to enjoy or criticize what's in front of me. Well, I guess that's what people are doing, is criticizing. Yeah, but I feel like they're criticizing it from a place of, like, This oh, is how I yeah, think it should have been. This is how it should have been. It's like, well, yeah, but that's not... The game. Yeah, but it's like, do I want Rand to be a laser superhero? Or, like... Am I just, am I gonna bitch about him not being the Night King now? I mean, that would have been pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, that's not really an issue. I can just stagger these guys. Or not. Okay. You know, and that's the thing. Like, there were things I wish had happened. I wish Jamie was the Azor High and he would have been a double Kingslayer. I would have loved for Jamie Lannister to kill that, and that's like the redemption arc, and then he, maybe he dies afterwards, you know? Yeah, that would have been sick. But it would have been a sweet. Know. But I'm not going to be butthurt about it. Right. Plus, he still has to kill Cersei, so... Uh, here we go, right? I have my way. Oh, oh, you fucked it up! I, dude, I'm yeah. so rich. I'm not even mad. But, like, I had my way that I wanted things to happen, and yes. I still do. I think he's the Valenqua. I think he's going to kill... Oh, yeah, that would be cool. I think he's going to kill Cersei, because she was told that her the little bro, the little pr or little brother, yeah, little brother would kill her. But so that she's that always made to think it's Tyrion, but it but could be. But the thing yeah. is, correct... But he is the younger twin. Yeah. So I think. Don't it's worry, guys. Be we're not nerds on this station or anything. I was just thinking that Tyrion <laughs> is kind of too short to be the Batman. That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, let's see. Also, can we just say, like, I know we hate her, but like, Lita Headley, Lena Headley. Yeah. Oh. Or Lee, what's her name? Lena he Hetty or Hetty? He so, sorry. No, Hetty. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Dude. Oh my. She's she good. did. She did a great job. Like I hate she her. She's good. I hate her. <laughs> yeah, <definitely. laughs> I think that's fantastic. Like if I met her, in... why is it gray? Well, because what? Because I'm colorblind. Why? Oh, is that? It gives a shit. Like why? Is that what, what you you're colorblind? And that's yeah. what it did. Yeah. Dude, I love this. This game is awesome. <laughs> I love that it has. Do the chess place one. The what? chess play. What? What do you mean? Wasn't there a chess? Oh, you already got it. Okay. Oh, I got the knight helm. You could do that. You should do that. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good helm. For sure. I also equipped the Squire's chest. Um, I don't know if I want to do Squire limbs because that would put me at max weight. Uh, and it, it only really increases my magic. I don't use that much. Right. Um, let's see. I have the vampirism thing. 
three fifty for. I don't know, dude. That's pretty good. But having the double jump is pretty good too. They're double jump, kind of double jump. Okay, I like double I jump the better. All right. Um, that's hilarious. I love the black and white. Yeah, dude. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm colorblind. It's like, what do you want from me? Here, I can press X. Colorblind, you can't see colors. I also have hyper gonadism, so I can knock an enemy back really far. Nice. I feel like oh, some wow. of this shit's just made up. No, it's not. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. See, I have a double jump. I can be like, woo, woo. That's really helpful if in case I'm gonna die. Mm -hmm. You know, like jump on some spikes or whatever. Uh, yeah. Like some of the like some of the traits or whatever are like yeah, just bullshit. They're okay, and some of the traits are like really helpful. But like this one seems like it's kind of like eh. But I don't know. Like for me, it's kind of a little bit harder to see what the fuck's going on. I was gonna say I think it's harder to see what the fuck is going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, certain colors like pop and they like give you a little bit more information. Yeah. Like this guy is shooting fire at me. Like going back to the Star Wars fans though, and, and, oh and they're like, they are really bad about it, you know. And look, I'm not saying like Star Wars has its, its problems too, you know. Like, don't get me wrong, I yeah. fully think. I don't know. I think there's a difference between criticism and entitlement, though. Yeah, like they get mad because it's not going their way. I, that's what it feels like, you know. And it's not every fan. Holy shit, that's all cool. I'd say it's every fandom to a point. No, I, I think I was, some are I, just. I was trying to say it, it's not every fan. Dude, I almost didn't see that fucking spike fall right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking colorblind, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, being colorblind... I almost wonder if I have a slight colorblindness because I have trouble differentiating between beige and light green. Weird. Yeah, right? Um, I don't know, man. Hard to tell. Have you gone to an optometrist? Uh, also, that kill was fucking clean as fuck. I'm just gonna toot my own horn there for a second. Toot toot. <laughs> There's this thing Rachel, Rachel does where it's like, <laughs> apparently she watched like a uh, one of those bullshit reality television shows, you know? Okay. And and there there was like one of the guys and he's like, not to toot my own horn. Toot toot. And so she does that sometimes. Oh and I'm like, god, that's <laughs> obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> she punt that zombie. Also, I wish I was a dwarf, I could go in here. There's a little item back there, I bet. Too bad you're tall as fuck. Yeah, I'm real. Oh, no, no thanks. <laughs> oh my god. Not going in that room anytime soon. Uh, also, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, you can all the enemies. I'll try. There's a fuckload of them. Okay, I have a lot more health than I remember. So I'm actually doing okay. Holy shit, dude. I'm like not dead. That's pretty incredible, actually. Woo! That was kind of nuts, dude. It's not over, sir. Well, I know, but I can, as long as I don't, I'm not dealing with both half of the room. I feel like I can be okay. Fuck. Really? That was an unforced error on my part, I'll admit. And I probably could have dodged his attacks, but I tried to use a spell. Okay, I got a rune, retaliation rune. Okay. I don't know what that does. Um, I'm a little scared to keep going down because I could end up in the dungeon. And sometimes you can't get back up and you're stuck down there with like level fucking, like difficulty four enemies from like the end game. They're like level 60. <laughs> and I'm like level 11 with 64 health. And I'll like, like get you're sneezed like, this on. This is where water. I die, you know? <laughs> like, oh my God, yeah. Like for the most part, it's a little bit safer going right. Uh, versus like up or down. Oh god. Oh, that was almost really good. I, I almost used my double jump right there. It's a great effect. Oh, that almost worked. It's all good. I killed him. You. I know that was a, a clinch for you. You were clinching. I'm always clinching, dude. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm always like... <laughs> 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 Through the wall. Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm cheesing it. Well, what you gonna cool. do about it? What you gonna do, pussy? Yeah. No! You ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> Taunt him. Taunt him. <laughs> Cause mother whore. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> I love how lame that looks. Yeah. Yeah. How do I get in there? Go up? Like, there's gotta be a way to get in there, right? I can't get in there. Well, I just can't get in there, Dallas. What am I meant to do? Whoa. I wish I could see this in color. <laughs> this looks cool. Is this like something Mario where I can like jump in there? 